Also, according to CSEC, a drill recently passed through customs. The CSEC office may have more information. Okay, well, I am here back on the Citadel because I'm going to do Thane's loyalty mission. I'm sorry, but I can't let you board the shuttle with that. But this is a ceremonial item of my people. Sir, it's a 15 centimeter serrated blade. You humans are all racist. You'd think Citadel security would be the tightest in the galaxy. I see no fewer than 14 fatal flaws a skilled assassin could exploit. Eight of them existed when I was here 10 years ago. <laughs> Let's try to get yes. that lead. My associate's trying to find his son. We think a local criminal may have hired him. That should be easy. We don't see many drill here. There we go. One of my men reported a drill recently. And he was talking to Mouse. Interesting. Mouse? Ah, petty criminal. Probably not the guy who hired your boy, but a messenger. He's a former duct rat. Runs errands for anyone who'll pay. What was it you called, Mouse? A duct rat. It's a local slang for the poor kids who grow up in the station. When they're small, they tend to play in the ventilation ducts where adults can't get to them. Aren't the ducts dangerous? Every couple of months, we pull a little body out of them. Lacerated by fan blades, broken by a deadfall, suffocated by vacuum exposure. Those are just the ones we know about. More just disappear. Maybe they get sucked into space. Maybe they fall into the protein vats the keepers run. The mouse survived long enough that he can't fit in the ducts anymore. He was one of the smarter ones, or the luckier ones. Well, that's all horrifying. What sort of trouble has Mouse been getting himself into? Odd jobs for shifty people. Duct rats take whatever is available to get by. Data running, fencing stolen goods, selling illegal VI personalities. Actually, he was selling one of you. Me? <laughs> yeah, when you erased a file, it would say, I delete data like you on the way to real errors. Buggy, though, <laughs> it crashed every half hour. The error message was about how the galaxy was at stake and you should fix the problem yourself. That's amazing. I've heard enough. Mouse is usually upstairs outside the Dark Star. He works out of a public comm terminal. You should pick up a copy of the Shepherd VI when you talk to him. It sounds like your boy is running with the wrong crowd. Yes, I agree. If Mouse can't get you in touch with your son directly, he'll know who can. I'll help you if you need it. You don't know us, Captain. Why are you going so far to help us? I've worked at Kara for two years. Every day kids turn to crime because they've got no other choice. Because their parents don't care. You're trying to save yours. He faces a dark path. We better hurry, then. You didn't tell him that Kolyat plans to assassinate someone. <laughs> of course not. I also didn't tell him what you do for a living. Do you normally discuss assassinations with the police? I take your point. Thank you, <laughs> Shepard. Welcome to Citadel News. Hi, I'm Emily. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Oh, more fish that I'm not gonna buy. All I'm they saying would just die. is that these mementos <laughs> will help me remember the happy times we've shared even after you're gone. Fine, whatever. I don't care. Okay. Why is that upstairs? I'm just double checking the shops. I don't think they I'm restock, but and this is my favorite no. store on the Citadel. I think the fish is the only thing that gets restocked. Yeah, 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 sure. I can get you two cases by the end of the day. You mouse? What are you, oh shit, Krios. I thought you retired. Commander Shepard? I, I thought you died. <laughs> what do you want with me? Poor mouse. Be still, mouse. You can change your pants in a moment. How do you know Thane? Krios? He didn't... If he didn't say nothing, I ain't either. When we heard the name, I didn't think it could be the same mouse. He was a contact on the Citadel when I was active. He and some other children would gather information on my targets. You put children in danger to spy for you? Children, the poor. 
My people's word for their kind is Dralafa, the ignored. They're everywhere, see everything, yet they are never seen. You gave another Drell instructions for an assassination. Who's the target? I, I don't know. I didn't ask. Because the people I work I'm for... I'm not going to punch this little make kid. Me disappear. I mean, it's not a I'd like kid, to help but... you, Krios. you always done right by us, but I ain't going to die for you. Look, you know Thane. He wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. Do it for him. I want to. He was always nice to us. But these people ain't nice, Krios. Nobody's going to know you talk to us. Mouse, I swear that you won't be named. All right, all right. He came with that hollow you took of me. He said he wanted a job. I ran through your old contacts to see who might give him a shot. The guy who offered was Elias Kellum. Tell me about Kellum. Human. Moved to the Citadel about ten years ago. He was little people when you were here, Krios. He got big after the Geth attack. Lots of the big guys from before got cacked, all in the big fancy apartments up on the Presidium. Now he runs the rackets on the lower end of the ward, Shin Akiba. He's seriously bad news. Wait, tell me about Kellum. Did Human. I miss my chance to, to ask about, about the VI? Got big after the Geth attack. Lots <sighs> Maybe of the big if guys I tried talking to him again. All in the big fancy apartments up on the Presidium. I want to VI he runs the myself. On the lower end of the ward, Shin Akiba. He's seriously bad news. You did good, Mouse. Yeah. Hope I live long enough to pat myself on the back. Kellen will never know. I hope not. I'm out of here, Krios. Next time you're in town, just don't bring the family. No, he left. I wanted to talk to him about the VIs. Fine. That couldn't have been easy. Mouse knew more about my life than Kolyat ever did. He smiles up at me, broken teeth and scabby knees. Bare feet black. A dead end future looking up at me, worshipping the petty gifts I offer. I was the only good thing he had back then. But I left him as I left Kolyat. Mouse said you had a hollow of him. Yes. A foolish bit of sentimentality. I can perfectly recall every moment I spent with Mouse. He pulls at my arm, smiles. He wants to know that I'll remember him, that anyone will remember him. I take the hollow. He smiles at himself in miniature on my palm. Then a frown crinkles his brow. He pats my pockets, checking for other hollows. Where's your son, Krios, he asks. Don't blame yourself. If I don't, who will? We must carry the weight of our decisions, Shepard. You, of all people, know this. Let's head back to Bailey. Is it bad that I'm considering reloading so I can talk about the the eye? Probably. Okay. Let me see. Here is the rapid transit. Yes. Can we talk about my associate's son? You talked to Mouse? Did you get the name of the guy he's working with? Elias Kellum. Kellum? Shit. Uh, look, this is awkward. Kellum and I have a, an agreement. He doesn't cause too much trouble and buys tickets to the CSEC charity ball from me. In return, I ignore him. He pays you off. You were eager to help us before. What about now? Is it too inconvenient? I said I'd help. It's just there'll be repercussions if I don't handle it right. He and I mm -hmm. give each other space. Cops, keeps am I right? Peace. I'll get some of my people to bring him in and set him up in a private room. You can interrogate him yourself. I'll stay out of sight. And if I'm lucky, Kellum will believe that I had nothing to do with it. Bring him in. We might not have much time. I'll make it happen. Wait here.
We've got Kellum. Tell Bailey we're ready. He'll expect me to get him out of this. Not today, I think. Captain, his lawyer's here. Ben Elias has his VI set to page him if CSEC gets within 10 meters. I'll stall him. Get in there and work fast. Hooray. We should question him together. Keep the pressure on. Someone. Thoughts on how we approach it? Um. Convince him that we'll put a bullet in his head if he doesn't talk. Once he's scared, he'll cooperate. Very well. I'll pretend we're ready to kill him. We can't push too hard, though. We need the information more than we need a corpse. I assume that telling Thane to be bad cop yeah, is I get to be good Bailey. cop, but I can't Pretty funny bringing me down out. here like this. The hell are you two? nothing to do with this. We just want a few answers. Off the record. Off the record in a C-sec interrogation room? Sure. You hired an assassin. Who do you want dead? I want to see my advocate. You apparently haven't noticed we're not C-sec. No deals, no due process, no advocate. And that's supposed to scare me. You two are in way. Pay attention, Mr. Callum. That wasn't a good idea, kid. That is gonna cost you. We'll see about that. Hit me again, asshole. Every bunch is another crack. Works for me. No! Do you know what I'll do to you when I get out of here? Keep it up, tough guy. You'll leave in a bag. Go to hell. He's up. He's no use to us dead. Are we done here? Because I got people to see. I'm done being patient. Give me a name, or I'll cut your balls off and sell them to a Krogan. Joram! Joram Talid. Dorian in the 800 blocks. He's unconscious. No need to wake him up, I think. He'll wake up with a headache. No permanent damage. We have Kolyad's target. Let's get to Talid before he does. Agreed. What's the story? Why'd Kellum hire the boy? Assassination. A Turian named Joram Talid. You know him? Joram? Yeah. You might have seen his posters around. He's promising to end organized crime on the ward. Thing is, his message is all mixed up in race politics. He's anti-human. Are things so bad that people can openly campaign as anti-human? Before the Battle of the Citadel, the alien population thought we were violent upstarts. Look what's happened since then. A human fleet guarding the station for months. C-Sec filled with humans. Anderson does what he can, but some people have lived on the station since before humans had starships. They see it as a coup. If a majority votes for him, like it or not, that's how the system works. That's a nice ideal, Shepard. Sergeant! Get a patrol car. These two need to get to the 800 blocks. Yes, sir. There he is. How do you want to play this? Follow the lead on the maintenance catwalks. Tell me what he's doing. The Krogan bodyguard will make him easy to follow. Where will you be? The darkest corner with the best view. Okay, let's see if I can do this minigame. I'm on Kira, Lord of Hunters. Grant that my hands be steady, my aim be true, and my feet swift. And should the worst come to pass, grant me forgiveness. I just want to hug the Elcor. Oh, hey, Keeper. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. You can count on it. I'm on him, Thane. He's talking to some voters. Understood. You're in position? Yes. 
It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. Looks like he's talking to another voter. Any sign of Cole yet? No. I'm moving to another position. Ahead of him. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. Oh, okay. I was like, yes, did it did it count? It did. Why, wait, why are they like running? Oh, jeez. Talking to the bartender. Looks like a shakedown. I'm relocating to the next room. Let me know if anything changes. Target in sight. I wonder if I can walk off this ledge. Assuming not. Hey, who are you? What are you doing back here? I'm with the Citadel Health and Safety. We've had vermin reports in storage areas around here. What? You can't be serious. How did you get in here? If I didn't have authorization, how did I get in? You see any other doors? Plus, I'm in armor. There's the keeper. Never mind. Just, just go on through, okay? Thanks. Probably. Yeah, yeah. Just don't let my boss. <gasps> I see him. I've got him. If I were a stock boy, I would not confront someone wearing a full suit of armor. Whatever you want. C-Sec. Put the gun down, son. Get out of my way. I'm walking out. He's coming with me. They'll have snipers outside. I don't need your <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> Tully, get the hell out of here. Yeah, yeah, I will. Take the boy into custody. You son of a bitch! Your father doesn't have much time left, Kolyat. He's trying to make up for his mistakes. What? 
So you came to get my forgiveness? So you can die in peace or something? I came to grant you peace. You're angry because I wasn't there when your mother died. You weren't there when she was alive. Why should you be there when she died? Your mother. They killed her to get to me. It was my fault. What? After her body was given to the Deep, I went to find them. The Trigger Men. The Ringleaders. I hurt them. Eventually killed them. When I went back to see you, you were... older. I should have stayed with you. I guess it's too bad for me you waited so long, huh? Kolyat, I've taken many bad things out of the world. You're the only good thing I ever added to it. This isn't a conversation you should have in front of strangers. Boys, take Kolyat and his father back to the precinct. Give them a room and as much time as they need. You're doing him a favor, Bailey. Thanks. Yeah, well, send me a Christmas card or something. <laughs> I have to get back to the precinct. Come on, I'll give you a lift. Cool. Importantly, I got Thane a new outfit. It's always the most important part of any loyalty mission. The outfits. kid's been through a lot. I ran some searches in the CSEC archive. About ten years back, a bunch of real bad people were killed. Like someone was cleaning house. The prime suspect was a drill. We never caught him. Bad people make a lot of enemies. It could have been anyone. No, it had to be one hell of an assassin. The best, maybe. Something I can fix with a few words. We'll keep talking, see what happens. Your boy shot some people. No one I feel sympathy for, but there it is. I watched those guys shaking down businesses and threatening humans. But he can't just get away with it. The kid wants to make a difference. Give him community service. Community service for attempted murder? What jury would agree to that? None that I've seen. This would need to stay out of the judiciary. Strictly within CSEC. Interesting. I'll think about it. Thank you, Captain. Okay, excellent. Head back to the Normandy. Don't really care for the interrogation portion of that uh, sequence, but the rest of it's pretty fun. Search. And, you know, I'm gonna check out my quarters. I haven't been up there in a while and I've got a bunch of model ships. So I kind of want to look at those. Put them there. Oh wait, that's what I wanted to look at. Modular probe. Ooh. Yes, more probes. Love probes. Cool. 
Hey, that can hold more heavy weapon ammo. I will definitely take that. No fish. Well, I still have my hamster. My little hamster. My cool ships. They look so cool. Does this mean I have all of them? Sovereign, that is the <laughs> Shadow Broker one. Those are pretty cool. I uh, like them. Relic. Oh, oh, it's my relic. It's a relic I found. Don't, don't touch it. Don't touch it, Shepard. Who knows what it's gonna do? Why do I even have that in my cabin? It's not a paperweight. Saving smart points for when she gets Reeve. Daily death count on Omega is too high for me to pinpoint in Ardot Yakshi's location. However, given the reputation of Ardot Yakshi among the Asari, Arya Talok may have tracked her movements. Thank you. So, I heard a human went into the plague zone. Then I found out about a lot of dead Vorcha down there. You know anything about this? Dead Vorcha? No. Don't know anything about that. Uh huh. Right. Well, my job just got a whole lot easier. I'll just be going. Keep up the good work. Okay. Let me go check out the shops. See if I'm missing. Oh, hey. Greetings. I was hoping you'd come by. I'm Ish, and this is Cell. You look like a good person to know. I do. Can I you help need you? something? Well, if you'd be so kind, I hoped you might consider a proposition. I need skilled, trustworthy people to take care of a little business for me. Nothing illegal, of course, but it's paying work. What kind of business do you do? Important business. So important that with your help, <laughs> we can change Omega. That's, that's quite vague. What do you mean, we can change Omega? Well, I didn't want to say anything, but certain people here have business deals with people throughout the galaxy. If we were to have information involving those deals, we could make some ripples around here. That's all I'll say. Sure. I'm listening. I'm, I'm in, in the for information anything. business. Specifically, the buying and selling of privileged material. It's nothing illicit. I just need someone to pick up packages in certain locations and bring them to me here. What's your angle? No angle. I'm a simple businessman. What do you say? Sure. I can do that. My contacts use specific drop points. I need you to look outside Merib's shop on the Citadel and inside Eternity on Ilium. Look around for anything that might hold a data package and bring those packages to me. Good luck, my friends. Ah, figures I was just at the Citadel. Oh well. Tented 
positively excited. <laughs> Welcome, human. What can I get for you? I just wanted to, to talk do. to you. Courteously, have a fine day. Take a look at my kiosk. Ooh, lots of stuff. Okay, well, I'm just gonna buy everything. Six FBA couplings. I knew they'd be here somewhere. We can use this. Excellent. Okay. Then I'm gonna head back and talk to Arya. Fugitive is hiding out here. She's an Ardat Yakshi. We need to find her. I knew it. Nothing leaves a body quite so empty as an Ardat Yakshi does. You haven't taken steps to kill her. Why would I? She hasn't tried to seduce me. Her last victim was a young girl. Pretty thing. Lived in the tenements near here. That's where I'd start looking. Okay. Thanks for the help. Good luck finding her. Better luck catching her. All right. Oh, I also need to do the patriarch thing at some point. That's here on Omega. I'll have to check to see how that actually gets started. ago and no one seems to care the medic said it was a brain hemorrhage but that's not true it was murder someone killed my nephew, my baby i think she was murdered too and i'm looking for her killer oh thank you it's so hard when no one believes you i'm all alone now are you one of aria's people i'm here to help does it matter who sent me no one else on this hellhole station gives a damn that my nephew is dead. If you can do something about it, I'll help you however I can. Did your daughter have a lot of friends? Not a lot, no. She was shy. Spent most of her time off making her sculptures, not hanging out with friends. Something did change in the last few weeks, though. She started talking about an Asari. Morinth. I see. I didn't like her. She kept dragging Neff out to clubs, and I'm pretty sure she gave my daughter drugs. What kind of a person was this Morinth? I never met her. But Neff talked about her like she was a queen. You'd swear there was no one else alive when she talked about Morinth. That sounds familiar. 
Samara, does Morinth control her victims with drugs? She controls them through sheer will. The drugs are just a lifestyle. She loves the club, loves the base. She's a hedonist. So this Morinth did hurt my daughter? Is she the one that... that... I will bring justice to the one that did this. We swear to you, Neff will rest easy soon. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> my baby. Did Neff hang out anywhere in particular? She was always quiet working here at home. Then, a few weeks ago, she started going out all the time to the VIP area of that club down the street. I think you need a password or something to get in there. The change was so sudden. She just seemed tired and distracted when she wasn't around Morinth. What kind of a girl was your daughter? My nephew had a fire inside her. She was shy, but she was creative and driven and uh, the best girl a mother could hope for. She was creative? How so? She was a sculptor. Several galleries were interested in her. Said her work was fresh. <laughs> Do you mind if I examine Neff's room? I didn't want to disturb anything. Her clothes, her art, her sculptures, everything is the way she left it. The way it will always be. <laughs> My baby is gone. Aww. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry, I just miss her so much. It's okay. We've all suffered loss. I know what it means to lose a daughter. I will avenge her. Thank you. Please, if it helps you find her killer, look through her things. We will be respectful. I'll examine her things. Okay. Let's look in the room. Read the newest Read the newest entry. Cycle 42, orbit 67. She's going to take me to her apartment tonight. Whatever happens, I want to be with her forever. She can sell my pieces. We can live somewhere glamorous, like the women in Vanya that Vid Morinth likes. How did this happen to me? I'm just dumb trash from Omega. Read the middle entry. Cycle 36, orbit 671. Oh, am I a freak? Morinth is a girl like me, and she's definitely not human. Just when we dance and the Halex is flowing through me, the way she looks at me with a hunger, a longing, no one's ever looked at me like that. We kiss tonight. Read the oldest entry. Hey, diary. Cycle 34, orbit 671. There's a lot to talk about. I dropped your root's name, and they let me into the VIP room at Afterlife. I'm sure everyone was staring at me. Then the most beautiful Asari starts dancing near me. She moves like water, form and volume, but shifting, changing. I'm in a trance. Then I'm dancing with her. Later, we went for skewers, and I'm supposed to see her again tomorrow. Close the hollow journal. This is Morin's work. She's attracted to artists and creators. Someone with a spark slightly isolated from their peers. She impresses with sophistication and sex appeal. Then she strikes. The hunt interests her as much as the conquest. Anyone who successfully hunted sapient beings for 400 years warrants caution. Morin speaks to you on many levels. Her body tells yours that she'll bring unimaginable ecstasy. Her scent evokes emotions long hidden. Her eyes promise you things you were always scared to ask of another. Her voice whispers to you after she is done speaking. She sounds more like a highly evolved killer than a genetic defective. The condition has been present since my people huddled around fires at night. Perhaps it is symbiotic rather than a defect. Storming her den would be a mistake. She will have a hundred escape routes planned. She will go to ground and disappear for 50 years or more. This is the closest I've ever been. So we have to lure her out. Exactly. Shepard, you read my mind. Afterlife's VIP section seems her preferred hunting ground. You must go there alone and unarmed. <laughs> She'll come after me. You can draw Morinth out. She'll certainly flee if she catches sight of me, but she won't be able to resist you. You are an artist on the battlefield. You have the vital spark that attracts her. 
Your power will draw her in. Time's wasting. Let's get over there. I agree. We can talk more once we're there. Sounds good. Oh, I can look at that. Neth made that. A man from some gallery offered me four. Neth, I'm sending you this hologram by the Elcor artist Forta. His work is sublime, but don't stare at it too long or you may go mad. I don't want anything bad to happen to you, love. <laughs> okay, so I learned some Grant. things. There's like uh, Vania and Halix and Porta are kind of the main ones. Alright, looks like I'm gonna try to go to the VIP area. Talk to Bouncer. What do you want? Let me in. I'd like to join the party. This really isn't your kind of place. Afterlife's main floor has lots of drinks and great music. What? Where? Okay. Let me look at the journal. Go to the VIP club. Uh huh. What do you want? Oh, Drew. Someone sent told me, me the rest I of didn't see that first time. compared to this place. Sounds like a smart person. Who was it? Jarut. Go on in. Word to the wise. Start a fight, we'll hurt you. Someone attacks you, it's okay to defend yourself. Okay. I assume this comes with a change of clothing. Yep. <laughs> in, my, in my hoodie. Why am I wearing my hoodie? I should have dressed up for this. You must go in alone. Marinth will be watching. Like any predator, she is cautious. You must pique her interest enough that she will approach you. When you are face to face, subtly encourage her to invite you to her apartment. I'll follow discreetly, and when you are alone, I'll spring the trap. Know this, until I get there, you are in great peril. She will be planning to inflict horrors on you. If you are not careful, you will want her to. Okay. Let's get started. Shepard, we only get one chance at this. Any mistake and Morinth will disappear. If you're the least bit unsure, come talk to me. I will wait here. And Shepard, thank you. I do not share this burden easily, and you are the only soul I can imagine sharing it with. Okay. I don't think I can change my outfit. <laughs> uh, no worries. We'll just go in with like kind of the uh, golf approach, I guess. Hey, do you know where to get tickets for Expel 10? I heard this amazing Asari say they were her favorite band. I wanna, I just want whatever she wants. I gotta find tickets. Expel 10 is playing tomorrow. I don't have any tickets. If you score some, I got some credits for you. Okay, now I know Expel 10 is a good band. You're breathing on my drink. Hi, I need help right now, and I don't know who to ask. You're human, and you don't look high, so you're it. Can you help me out? <laughs> what kind of help? My friend Moirall is doing a piece on Omega Games. She's hanging with Florid. He's the worst of the worst. What is she doing? A bid piece. She's an investigative reporter, you know? She's trying to profile gang members. That sounds dangerous. And your friend <laughs> could get hurt. Yeah, and she's going to. See, Florid's on it. His gang is on the way here, and they're going to make a mess of her. I have to get a message to her, and fast. What do you want me to do? She and I have a code. If you go over and say two words to Florit, my friend will get the message and get out of there. The two words are terminal and eternity. In that order, please tell me you can do that. She's going to die. Terminal and eternity. I can do that. I can Thank do that. you. Thank you. Remember, terminal and eternity. In that order, just work them into a sentence. I would be so bad at this in real life. I'd walk up to somebody and be like, so, about that terminal eternity thing going on. <laughs> this is why I'm not like a spy. <laughs> Something I can do for you, lady? Terminal. Is there a public extranet terminal around here? In a club? You don't have an Omni tool? That is a pretty strange question. I get by on public terminals. My Omni tool's been broken for an eternity. My Omni tool's been broken for an That's eternity. I'm done talking to you now. <laughs> Wait for it. I have to pee. Yeah? Hurry back, Moirol. I'm ready to head out. Doot, 
Dude, music here used to be avant-garde. I am not gonna punch somebody. I'm a good tip. Why would I dance? Or punch somebody? Hey. Hey! I'll dance next to you. If you wanna think we're dancing together, go ahead. Oh my goodness. I do wanna think that. Shepherd. <laughs> I love it. I've stole my hoodie. <laughs> Big N7. Yeah, I'm like totally goth. Okay. Lots of money on this good cred hunting tonight. I'll hit him in the alley. As long as it isn't one of Arya's people, we're good. We gotta get enough creds to keep pink off our packs. Hey, what are you looking at? Huh. I, I know I'm not supposed to punch the dude because I, I don't think being real aggressive attracts warrant. I'm not sure if this is a bad idea or not. Uh, a pair of sad losers who think they're something and are about to find out they're not. <laughs> Who's going to show us that? You? You think she's tough. Tougher than you. Uh, probably not. Probably shouldn't have. Oh? I've been watching you. Maybe that You're was okay. You're the most interesting person in this place. I've got a booth over here in the shadows. Why don't you come sit with me? Oh, I love sitting in a booth in the shadows. Some nights I come here and there's no one interesting to talk to. Some nights, there's just one person. Tonight, it's you. Why is that? You and I want the same things. Do we? It's just a car. Yeah. Uh, music. What do you think of the music here? Dark rhythms, violent pulses. It stirs something primitive in me. What about you? I'm curious about a band called Expel 10. They get in my head and tear it to pieces. They're in concert soon. Maybe we should go together. You can lose yourself in the music here. There are ways to enhance that. You know? <laughs> drugs are a crutch. Just say no to drugs. What do you think of Halex? It slithers through my soul. Seems like we share some interests. Do you know anything about art? It speaks to the darkest places in me. What about you? Do you know the artist Forta? I didn't think anyone around here knew him. He's sublime. Art comes in many varieties. I've seen vids that were more powerful than a sculpture sitting in a gallery. Do you know Bayanya? My favorite. The two actresses on it are so glamorous. I'll have to watch it. Maybe we could do that together. I've traveled all over the galaxy. It changes you, doesn't it? Sure. Real travel means going to dangerous places. Where you can see and do things most people can't imagine. Yes. When I travel, I find myself drawn to dark, dangerous places. Violent places? Violence is the surest expression of power. Violence is a means to an end. Power is that end. Do you want to get out of here? My apartment is nearby and I want you alone. Success! She digs my hoodie. gift from a suitor. The statue's got more personality than he did. Still, he impressed me enough that he finally got what he wanted. It didn't end the way he hoped. I love any game where your opponent can believe he is about to win just before you kill him. apartment layout have a hallux if you want but wouldn't you rather have all your senses be clear and sharp right now I certainly do 
I love clubs. People, movement, heat. I can still hear the bass like the drums of a great hunt out for your blood. But here, it's muted, and you're safe. Is that what you want, Shepard? <laughs> People feel safest right before they die. It's true. We're never safe. I've never understood the fascination with safety. Some of us choose differently. Independence over submission? I think we share that, you and I. Hmm. We've both killed many times. But that's where the similarities end. Why do you say that I've killed? What do you know? Let's stop playing games. Oops. Maybe I should have. Look into my eyes and tell me you'd chosen want me. that. Tell me you'd kill for me. Anything I want. <laughs> Surprise. Don't count on it. But you. Who are you? Oh no. I see what's going on. The bitch herself found a little helper. Marin. Mother. Do not call me that. I can't choose to stop being your daughter. Mother. You made your choice long ago. What choice? My only crime was being born with the gifts you gave me. Enough, Morin! I feel like your crime has been killing people. But... I am the genetic destiny of the Asari. But they are not ready to reveal this. So I must die. You are a disease to be purged. Nothing more. I'm as strong as she is. Let me join you. I am already sworn to help you, Shepard. Let us finish this. Ah, yes, this is where you like get to choose. Um, I'm going to stick with Samara. Sorry, Morinth. End of the line, Morinth. And they call me a monster. Well, you do kill people regularly. and get on with my life. Are you ready to go as well? Let's go. Okay. All right, and that's good for now.